here to piece this together and then go to the other shoulder seam and we'll sew them together so here you lay the two panels inside out in this tutorial you see the outside and then you sew those two pieces together you begin here and sew it up till the last stitch so line them up together and sew them then we start with sewing the edges together and starting with the sleeves so we start with the sleeves and the edging on the sides here you put seven rows of half double crochets and then we start sewing the two pieces together so I've done already three sides and we do together one side and the sleeves I think with this color with one cable motif is great enough if you would like more cables then please do so later on I will show you how to do that we start with the etching on the sides and I will show you how to do it all so come along let's get started we start with the etching on the sides only for the plus sizes so this is the side which is at the shoulder seam and we go on every row with one half double crochet pull it out a bit you see all lines a bit holes in those lines are one row so every line you put one half double crochet in it so I'll show you here you see the there one there one there one so every row you put one half double crochet so we attach here in the corner so there where you finish the ribbing take it on the good side attach your yarn same size as you crochet hook size as you've done the, uh, the complete panel attach it here and then in the same stitch you will start with the first half double crochet so here is the first and now you see little holes for the ribbing side it's a bit harder to see but you know how many rows you have done so that amount you will make with half double crochet so if you've done four rows you must make here four half double crochets make sure that you put your half double crochet underneath two loops instead of one that makes a bit stronger at the sides so here I put the next one there's also underneath two loops not one two loops and a half double crochet and that's number three and here's number four so the ribbing is done and now you crochet see here nice and neat you will see that the work will shrink a little bit but when you pull it out it is straight you don't have any bobbling or too much waving at the sides little explanation about the width for the shoulder seams when you want to make it off shoulder it's not shown in the picture and the picture is a white, sh uh, white neckline but when you need to do a uh, off shoulder you start measuring up here from the outside of the shoulder and you measure around from that point over the breasts up to halfway your upper arm and back around to the front again so around and that is the, l the width of the shoulder seam so the neckline when you want to make it off shoulder so you divide it by two and then you know how wide you need to sew in your shoulder seams that's a clever and smart way to uh, to make your the, the correct width of your shoulder uh, neckline sorry so from the shoulder up to the upper arm halfway and back to the shoulder that is the width you need to make it off shoulder if you don't want to make it off shoulder just measure around your uh, shoulder to shoulder inside shoulder head to the other inside shoulder head and that's the width you need so I've got the back part here so you look at the back side of your work and here's my front panel I've measured up I will 
close it up until the second ribbing here and that's the zone I will do for my sweater and this way I have a off shoulder if you need to make a white shoulder just sew it through well since it's an off shoulder your uh, armpit area will be much further away than a normal place it should be so it is possible that this seam will be at just about halfway your upper arm if you make it a normal just attach it there I've started this one with the ribbing on the wrist and then crochet it up towards the armpit area I have started with multiple times with two half double crochet in the armpit area up towards the shoulder seam after the elbow not before always after so here you you can't see it actually but I've done there the increases and the last couple of rows I've done one row increased one row normal count your stitches and mark them as well at the armpit from your body part body piece for me a 28 half uh, 28 stitches per side so I count them from the shoulder seam towards downwards sorry so I arrived at the armpit just one stitch before the 28th that I marked and I'll show you how to adjust them ad ad attach them together so the shoulder is at the shoulder and the seam is here you start here with crocheting the two pieces together by half double crochet so I put one half double crochet in the body piece here then pull up the loop and then you search for your first stitch in the armpit area that is let me see it's even hard for me to see sometimes where my seam is here put my hook through from the outside inside pick up the loop again pull a bit too and pull through that loop and then you go to the next stitch from the body piece make your half double crochet again pull up the loop take your hook take the next loop from the sleeve outside to inside put the loop back on the hook and pull through that's the way how you sew two pieces together without a needle so you crochet around and back to the armpit area here I am at the shoulder seam and now I go 28 half double crochets at the other side back around so this side has been closed up and now the other side so up to here and then go on with the body part the same way well I've done it already I've attached them by half double crochet you see it goes beautifully around over into the sleeve here nice etching that's the way it should be so when you start from the other way around which I will show you you need to do after each row uh, two double crochet or two half double crochet together now I started at the wrist and then you do a two double crochet two half double crochet in one stitch you crochet up towards the wrist and then you make the ribbing the ribbing I have done with the four four and a half millimeter crochet hook so <coughs> I've crocheted up till there and other way around you will end off with the ribbing or you start with the ribbing or you end with the ribbing but make sure that you start off with a smaller hook when you start with the sleeves now we start with the second one crocheting them together and we go back to the front part so you start at the other side you start on the other front part so the opposite side mark your sleeves and go around the sleeve back to the fr other front panel or back panel depends on which side you start with and back to the bottom I made a split here just to make sure that when the hips are a bit wider than the top 
those will fit in as well. So, if you want to close it up, just go on with half double crochet together up till the bottom. You can go along with this and here start on the correct side. Make sure you start at the correct side and not at the wrong side. Mark here the sleeves and go on with attaching them and go back to the other side and attach them together. So you first start with half double crochet and then when you reach the sleeves then you start with half double crochet together. I'll make 15 centimeters for the snit. So for the split. I will show you now how to start off with the sleeves while attaching them first at the armpit. So I put the stitch on my hook here and attach them and I'll start with the half double crochet. Make sure you start off with half double crochet through two layers. Then you start off with half double crochet around the armpit area. I've ended up in the beginning now. I always start off with a chain one and then make a half double crochet. So the chain one here is my stitch where I put the slip stitch in. Here it is. Chain one. And now we turn. So we crochet from the inside sleeve to the outside. Now we go around the way we started. Only backwards. So I chain one. When you need to make your sleeves smaller, what you will do is put your hook through the first and the second. Now you've got four loops and pull the yarn through. Now you made a two double, two half double crochet together, and then you go around up until the last two stitches. The last two stitches are two half double crochet together again. The row after is a normal row, so you take the stitches as they come but from the outside to the inside. So when you start crocheting from the inside to the outside, you will make your two, double, two half double crochets together at the beginning and at the end. And when you are at the correct side, you will crochet from all stitches that you have. Yeah, I'm back at the beginning. Make a two half double crochet together. Find my first chain stitch. Here it is and slip stitch into it. Chain one and turn. Now I'm at the good side, so the outside, and now you crochet only with half double crochets, without two the half double crochets together. A short explanation. When you want to make the sleeves with only one cable, you need to have 10 stitches for the cable and the others will be only half double crochet. So 10 stitches is one cable motif. So 10 stitches. Cable motive has 2 by 2. In a sweater he has 3 by 3. So that's the difference here. And the other stitches are the same as the sweater itself. When you would like to have cables all around the sleeves, you need to must make sure you must make sure that you have a multiple of 9 stitches. 9 stitches is one section. So from the two half double crochets up towards the last front post double crochet is nine stitches. If you can't get out with come up with nine multiple of nine stitches, make sure that the other stitches are left in the armpit area. When you go around and start with marking the cables in this area you can make your two half double crochets together in order to make your sleeve smaller towards the elbow. Well, when you have done your two half double crochets together up towards the stitches that you need, so a multiple of uh, one time 10 or a multiple of nine, you can start off with the cable motifs. But make sure that you have the outside of your work when you start with the cable motifs. So the first row cable motifs must be in the correct side. Mark your cable positions. So when you have a 10 cable, you make from the middle of the shoulder your stitches or your nine stitches multiple. The other stitches will end up here. If you want to have a cable motive with 10, start here two stitches, 
four back and four back put your markers there and that way you know this is the cable place and the other stitches will be half double crochet then the cable will only be here so this piece here should be the cable place the last row around the bottom to make sure to crochet also your tails away make one chain in the first corner you make four half double crochets in one stitch that way you have your first corner around the horizontal edges you will make only half double crochets in each stitch you will come up with here's the first corner when you make the second corner you're back at the split last two stitches you will make a two half double crochet together so here's the first place skip this because it's already attached to each other and go to the next stitch here and crochet them together and go along with the sides from the split and up to the corner around every corner you will make four half double crochets together and the other stitch you take them as they come and in the split you will make sure that you make a two double two half double crochets together end off with a slip stitch into the first chain you made end of the cut off your yarn and sew in the tails and then you're done the sweater will be ready to be wear i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you again please do post your pictures on my facebook page the link is below below in the description box join us there and many more patterns will come up and you can see them there as well Link to my website is there also in the description box and many more to see. So I hope to see you again next time.